Alright, how's it going everybody? We are here today to take a look at Unique Enchantments and Unique Enchantment Utilities Update. If you're interested in either of the mods, the link to their Cursed Forge page will be in the description. We have one new enchantment for Unique Enchantments and we have two new enchantments and a curse for utils. But first, let's get into the changes. It is now configurable for you to make enchantments incompatible with enchantments from other mods. Enchantments can now be deactivated or disabled. Deactivating them will make them so they have no effect. Actually disabling them will make it so you can't get them through any normal way. Other than like creatively spawning it in. The enchantment Alchemist Grace. The potion effects you get from it can now be configured. So you can use it for only mining or only fighting. Uh, you can now add ameliorated Bane of Arthropods or Smite to a hoe. Uh, the fast food enchantment is now compatible with looting. So you can now gain extra gains for, for the fast food if you have looting and fast food on the same weapon. Uh, Sage's Blessing XP boost can now get even higher boost if you have looting or fortune. And the Berserker max level has increased from 1 to 2. And the damage scaling changed to anti-proportional scaling instead of linear. The damage at level 1 is still the same as it was before. And for utils, the changes are just the three new enchants. Well, two enchants and a curse. But there is a note that giving yourself XP levels ver via a command will cause an unintended behavior with Poseidon's soul. It's a bug in Minecraft that can't really be fixed. So make sure you give yourself XP points, not levels. And then it should be fine. Alright, so let's actually get into the changes here. Or the new things here. That's what you guys are here for. So we have Endus Reap, which comes in three levels. One, two, and three. And you put that on a weapon. Um, axes count. Swords. Bows. Crossbows I'm hoping will work in the future. But not currently. And basically. The way this works is. Any of these bosses. So an elder guardian. Not regular guardians. Shockers. Wither skeleton or withers, not wither skeletons, and the end dragon. Every time you kill one, it is going to stack on your sword. So let's get this guy dead here, and now I'm gonna float away. I was hoping I could kill him before I got hit by that. Nice thing I got water here. But you will see that I now have stored reap of four. That's because I've killed a few before it. And the more I kill, the more damage it will stack. And that damage can then be applied to zombies, skeletons, creepers, whatever. So the more bosses you kill with that enchant on your weapon the more damage that weapon is going to do. Okay, 
So now on to Unique Enchants, Utils. First thing, Thick Pick, you can see, has been fixed. So it actually says the stored gems at the bottom. And now let's get to the actual enchants. So Poseidon's Soul, three levels of it, goes on a trident only. And the way this works is depending on which level you have, when you hit either a sick pickle or coral, you will get, um, oh, came all the way over here. It'll actually duplicate them for you. And it will give you the amount of whatever level you have. And you'll see it works on the pickles as well. Alright, so that is that one. Now, let's look at Climber. This one is a really fun enchant. You have three levels of this as well. And the way this works is... You can use it with vines, ladders, or scaffold. Anything that's basically considered a ladder. You walk up to it. You shift click it. You'll see it says starting to climb. I can come over here and open a box. And I'm now at the top of the scaffold. So basically it teleports you to the top of the ladder, scaffold, whatever. And the levels depend on the amount of time it takes you to teleport up there. So there's the top of the ladder. It does put you at the top of the ladder, not the top of the block. So be ready to go up if you're on an actual ladder or on a vine. It does work through the um, hatches. If you uh, have one of those, so it'll be nice. And also, it's stupid proof. So if you would take damage from doing it, it's not going to allow that. It's not going to teleport you into a wall or something like that. So you don't have to worry about that. And now, let's get to the curse. So this is Fane's Regret. This is the absolute nastiest curse to date that has been added. And I know people have asked in the past if there's a way to get a curse off. And no, there isn't. You get a curse, you're cursed. You might as well make a new tool. So you'll see I have two hearts. And I am wearing a full set of diamond armor, all cursed, along with my sword, and my shovel is cursed. Now, the shovel's not really going to do anything because I can't hold it in my hand while I eat, but every level that I, everything that I have stacks. So if I had just the boots, I would have 12% chance of no health regen. When I eat, when I drink a potion, even the totem has a chance that it won't work. 12%. But it stacks. So with me having a full set, if I could hold the shovel and the sword at the same time, so if somebody threw a healing potion at me there I have a 75% chance that it is not going to do anything but we can go ahead and try this out like this where I'm at like 60% and you'll see from eating my food is going down but I'm not gaining any health whatsoever And I even have some health potions here. We're going to give them a try. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, we got some from the last one. 
and we'll eat again. Oh, we got one little bit of health from eating finally. All right, so now if we take all this off, and as long as I'm not holding them in my hand or wearing them, my health regen will work perfectly fine. Just as it normally would. There you go. A little bit of health goes down, a little bit of or a little bit of food goes down, a little bit of health goes up. So that is the changes for unique enchantments and unique enchant utilities. I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to stop by the curse forge page to grab the new update say hi to spiger and the author of the mod zaki i really hope i said his name right this time I'm so terrible at butchering this guy's name and i will be back with you next time we have an update enjoy and have a great day